there is a concentrated effort around the world to reduce and eventually eliminate the use of ozone-depleting refrigerants. We want to make you aware that there is now legislation that exists that could have a direct impact in the future on a heat pump or air conditioning system in a property you may own. In most residential properties, HCFC, or hydrochlorofluorocarbons, R22, is the most commonly used refrigerant today and believed to contribute to global warming. The trend now is to replace a unit containing R22 with one that has HCFC R401A. This is one of the products reviewed and found acceptable by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, under the Clean Air Act. To put it simply, the EPA is not allowing continued production or importing of R22. And currently, there's a definite schedule to phase out HFC R22, and it's as follows per the EPA site. Under the terms of the Montreal Protocol, the U.S. agreed to meet certain obligations by specific dates that will affect the residential heat pump and air conditioning industry. By January 1, 2004, the Montreal Protocol required the U.S. to reduce its consumption of HCFCs by 35% below the U.S. baseline cap. As of January 1, 2003, EPA banned production and import of HCFC 141B, the most ozone-destructive HCFC. This action allowed the United States to meet its obligation under the Montreal Protocol. EPA was able to issue 100% of company baseline allowances for production and import of HCFC-22 and HCFC-142B. By January 2010, the Montreal Protocol required the U.S. to reduce its consumption of HCFCs by 75% below the U.S. baseline. Allowance holders may only produce or import HCFC-22 to service existing equipment. Virgin R22 may not be used in new equipment. As a result, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC system manufacturers may not produce new air conditioners and heat pumps containing R22. By January 1, 2015, the Montreal Protocol required the U.S. to reduce its consumption of HCFCs by 90% below the U.S. baseline. January 1, 2020, the Montreal Protocol required the United States to reduce its consumption of HCFCs by 99.5% below the U.S. baseline. Refrigerant that has been recovered and recycled or reclaimed will be allowed beyond 2020 to service existing systems, but chemical manufacturers will no longer be able to produce R22 to service existing air conditioners and heat pumps. Now, here are some additional facts you should know. For several years, R22 will continue to be available for servicing existing systems that use R22. Over time, however, the cost of R22 will increase as the amount available for use depletes. This means that the cost of repairs for units with R22 will escalate. Now, there is no requirement for a property owner to change to a new unit with R401A or retrofit a unit with an acceptable refrigerant by the EPA if you can have the unit repaired. You cannot retrofit an old unit using R22 with the new R401A because of its higher working pressures. It would require making major and very costly changes to the unit. The Clean Air Act does require repairs on refrigerants be handled responsibly. This means you must use a technician who can successfully recover, recycle, and reduce leaks of R22 into the ozone. System leaks not only damage the ozone, but can also increase maintenance costs. Retrofitting or repairing an old unit may be wasting money when a newer system could save overall. It can often be a difficult decision to make. You may have already encountered problems regarding R22 in your own personal home or investment property. If not, what do you do if you have a property with a problem regarding a unit with R22? Well, depending on the problem, this can mean anything from a reasonable repair to the high cost of complete replacement. Now, this will vary greatly depending on the unit in question. It's important to use qualified technicians and weigh repair versus replacement carefully. As your management company, we know this can be a stressful situation for a property owner. If this does happen to your unit, we'll assist you with estimates from qualified technicians so you're able to make a better informed decision and make the best possible decision for your property. One thing we cannot do is ignore the new regulations regarding R22. 
you may obtain more information on the topic of eliminating R22 in the link in the description.